So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from 1 to 16 of the function x minus 7 over the square root of x times dx. So first, let's just rewrite our integral. So from 1 to 16, we have the function x minus 7 over the square root of x. So what we've got to do to solve this is first simplify um, the function we have on the inside. So how do we do that? Well, basically, we can rewrite this as x over the square root of x minus 7 over the square root of x. And so I'll show you why this is easy, uh, easier. So what we want to do is use one of the rules of exponents, which is if we have x over x, or like some variable with the same base to an exponent, we can subtract the exponents. So x on top is the same thing as x to the 1, and the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. So what we can do is this is going to become x to the 1 minus our bottom, so 1 minus 1 half, which just becomes x to the 1 half. So we can rewrite what we have on top of the first part here as x to the 1 half. So x to the 1 half, here I'm actually just going to rewrite the whole integral. So like that, 1 to 16, then it's x to the 1 half. And then let's do this part right here. So minus 7, we can do the same thing. So we have minus 7 over the square root of x. And we can just rewrite this as minus 7x to the 0, because x to the 0 is just 1, so it's the same thing. And then we're going to use the same rule. So it's just going to become minus 7, and then x to the 0 over the square root of x the same thing as x to the 0 minus 1 half. So we take our top and then subtract the bottom. And so this is just going to become x to the minus 1 half. And then we're multiplying it by 7. So it's going to become minus 7x to the minus 1 half. So we can rewrite it right here, minus 7x to the minus 1 half. And then now we can just take the antiderivative of this and just solve it like a regular integral. So the antiderivative of x to the 1 half we add 1 to this, so it's going to become x to the 3 over 2. Then we divide by 3 over 2. And when you divide, you can just multiply by the reciprocal. So it's just going to become 2 over 3 times x to the 3 over 2. And then we have minus 7x to the minus 1 half. What we're, going to do, what we're going to do is add 1 to the minus 1 half. So it's going to become 1 half. Then we divide by 1 half. So minus 7 divided by 1 half is minus 14. We have minus 14x to the 1 half. And so now we got to just rewrite our line here, and we have 16 to 1. So what we're going to do is plug in 16 into this, get a value, and then subtract whatever 1 plugged into this is. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we plug in 16, it's 2 over 3 times 16 to the 3 over 2, minus 14 times 16 to the 1 half. And so 16 to the 3 over 2 is going to be 64. So we're multiplying it by 2 over 3. And so if we go ahead and do that, I'm just going to leave it in fraction form. So 64 times 2 is going to be 128, and then we're dividing by 3. So 128 over 3 minus, and then 16 to the 1 half is 4. Then we're multiplying it by 14. And then 14 times 4 is 56. So what we need to do is rewrite 56 um, as a number over 3. So if we go ahead and do that, 56 times 3 is going to be... 168. So we can rewrite uh, 56 as 168 over 3. And then all we got to do is subtract these. So 128 over 3 minus 168 over 3 is minus 40 over 3. And so when we plug in 16, we're going to get minus 40 over 3. So we have minus 40 over 3 minus, and then we got to plug in 1, and we're going to subtract minus 40 over 3 from that. So if I plug in 1 uh, into this, 1 to the 3 over 2 is just 1, and then we multiply by 2 over 3, which is just 2 over 3, then we minus 14 times 1 to the 1 half, 1 to the 1 half is just going to be 1, so minus 14 times 1 is minus 14, but we want to rewrite it over 3, just like this one, so 2 over 3 minus, and then 14 times 3 is going to be 42, so we can rewrite that as 42 over 3. 2 over 3 minus 42 over 3 is going to be equal to minus 40 over 3. So when we plug in 1, we're going to get minus 40 over 3. So now we have our top value, 16 plugged in, and then we minus whatever we have 1 plugged in is. And 1 plugged in is minus 40 over 3. So minus 40 over 3. And then these, these cancel. So it's just going to become plus 40 over 3. So like that. And then minus 40 over 3 plus 40 over 3 is going to become 0. So this right here is going to be the integral of this function.
from 1 to 16. So the answer to this problem is just going to be 0.